So Overhaul has actually had quite a few buffs, surprisingly, in this patch, which is surprising because I've always had him quite high in my tier lists, like in very high A tier or S tier. Like, I think he's a really great character, like if not one of the strongest, and now they've just made him a little bit stronger, which is intriguing to me. So basically they made um, his attack string a little bit faster, and it also is kind of safe now, and now it's basically one of the safest in the game, because as you can see here, like right after he actually does a punch, I can basically sidestep right afterwards, which is not the case for a lot of characters. A lot of characters, you're standing there for ages, and then you have to sidestep like that. Like, this is me demonstrating what other characters have to do. Like, whoop. But now Overhaul can just be like, whoop, punch, sidestep, punch, sidestep. And so yeah, that's really good, because a lot of attacks are super punishable in this game, and even as a zona, he has a safe, like, engagement move, which is kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, that's good. And in the air, I don't know, they changed it slightly, but I don't really know how. <laughs> okay, so, one of the big changes was his ground counterattack, just does, like, a lot more damage now, like, 4,000, and it's, like, one of the best wall spot moves in the game, because as you saw there, I'm like all the way over here, Makugo just goes flying into that wall. Even if I'm on this side, I can do it. He just gets sent all the way over there. Oh wait, no, if I do an attack from over here. But like still, this is like further than halfway right away the screen from the wall. He just gets launched all the way into that wall. So like, Overhaul's gonna have like wall splats for days. Um, if you can actually remember how to do your combos. I've not practiced with Overhaul for quite a while now, so uh, don't judge me. But yeah, that's really crazy. And they also changed it so it, like, makes the Meteor Blow a little bit more, like, uh, more likely to Meteor Blow. Which makes sense, since it's such an amazing ball spot move. Like, you don't want people throwing this out all the time. Like, it would be so overpowered if people could do it constantly. Um, they made his Tilt Quirk 1 do more damage than it did before. And it also, they adjusted the blow away, which I assume means that, like, it kind of launches them high in the air. Because I do not remember it launching them so high. And I guess that just makes it easier to get that wall splat that it does sometimes. So, once again, just wall splats for days with overhaul. It's pretty crazy stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah that doesn't work on the wall. Um, his mid-air tilt quirk one actually does more damage now. Like, he's just gotten a bunch of damage increases. Like, this has more damage. This has more damage. This has more damage. Like, what's going on here? Why does he need so much more damage? So, the shotgun of his Tilt Quirk 1 does a lot more damage. And you can see it when you hit, have all of them hit. And, oh, oops. Low, that wasn't all of them. Yeah, like, 5,000 damage for hitting a projectile. Like, just because they, like, ran up to you, like, when you did this. That's pretty crazy. That's a lot of damage. And, like, even from further distances, it's pr still pretty decent damage for a projectile. So they just made this move, like, even better than it was before. And it already was pretty good. So, yeah, that's a pretty awesome move. And because, he, you know, he can go into some other zone. Wait, can he actually cancel that? Does that combo? Oh my goodness. So, like, he can get all of this damage just because he, like, hits a random projectile. Wait, how do I get a lot to hit? No, 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 no. Damn. This some for projectile. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, so they increased the damage of that. And they also buffed his Quirk 2, so that it's not, like, actually punishable on hit like it was for a lot of characters before. Like, a lot of people could just wake up and punish him if he decided to end a combo with this. So I'm glad that no longer happens. So I'll block, wait, as soon as I can now. So as you can see, I can block before he starts getting up. And it's actually a hard knockdown. I have Bakugo on recovery, and he can't actually do a recovery. He has to take the long knockdown. So that's pretty interesting. So it gives him some more potential to do setups like something like this before he can actually even even attack you, as he saw that. The, um, the Silk Quirk 1 actually hit... Oops. Hit very late in its acti um, activation frames after that. So that's probably a legit mix-up. So if I turn Bakugo on to attack now... I can probably do this, yeah, before he can actually hit me, so that's pretty crazy. So he can get actually get pretty, oops, he can get good setups off of his, um, I wonder if I can do this one. No, that doesn't work. But yeah, that's pretty interesting, I'm looking forward to see what people find out with that, but yeah. Even just now I found that you can set up his, like, Tilt Quirk 1 basically instantly off of it. It was pretty crazy. And so yeah, that was all the changes for Overhaul. Not too many changes, basically just a bunch of like random buffs, which I mean, I guess I'm not complaining about, but I'm just super surprised by. Anyways, as I said, that's Overhaul, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.